In this video, we'll have a look at our application in an emulator. I've already opened Eclipse for this simple project, and because starting an emulator takes some time, I have already opened an emulator as well. What you see in Eclipse right now is the layout of the main activity of this simple Hello World app. But this is merely a static view, and as soon as you want to test the interaction within your application, a static view is not enough. For running an application, Eclipse provides two means, either running or debugging an application. You can run or debug your application either via the Run menu, Run Debug, or Debug As, Run As, by right-clicking on the element you want to run, for example, this project, they will have Run As and Debug As, or by clicking on the icon in the toolbar. And by clicking on the arrow, you also have some options. Clicking on the icon itself will just run or debug the last configuration. But if you're clicking on the arrow beside the Run symbol, you see that we have no launch history yet, and we cannot run this directory from here. Thus, we'll simply right-click on the project, select Run As, and choose Android Application. Now, the EVD Manager knows that I have only one emulator running, and it starts installing the application right away. Let's have a look. There it is. Of course, there isn't much to interact with in this application. So let's open a sample project from the Android SDK. Right-click within Package Explorer, select New, Other, Android, Android Project. Click on Next, and then choose a build target. In this case, I'll take Android 2.1 update. And now I can select Create Project from Existing Sample. Let's take the project Multi-Resolution. Click on it, click Finish, and then you have the project. There are a few problems, but they should vanish. Now they're gone. The problems appear because some assets of this project are yet to be defined and auto-generated, which has happened by now. As you can see, this app features a similar folder structure as the one we have already opened. Let's debug this time. Right-click on Multi-Res, choose Debug As, and click Android Application. As you can see on the console, it transfers the program to the emulator. And there it is. And here you can interact with the button, for example. With NumLock deactivated on the keypad, you can also use number seven to rotate the emulator, like this. But we haven't seen the real difference between running and debugging an application yet. In Eclipse, click on the perspective symbol and select the DDMS perspective. There it is. And as you can see in the panel devices, there's the emulator. And if I scroll down this list, I find one process with a bug symbol. This is our multi race application, as you can see here. And the bug means this is running in the debug mode. This means that I can go to some code of this application, for example, in this source folder, application multi race Java. That's the only file that carries Java code. And I can scroll down this file and double click right before some code to create a breakpoint. When debugging, whenever the application reaches a breakpoint, it will halt. Let's see if we can make it halt at this point. Bring the emulator to the foreground again and click on Next. There it is. Now it says, OK, for debugging, there's a different perspective. Do you want to switch? I say yes. And as you can see, the code has stopped right here. And I can look at variables and the environment. 